channel this is Brent speaking um, man I'm, I'm back in the gym I'm back in there I've been back in the gym for this today will make my third this is the beginning of my third week uh, I got my powerlifting meet coming up uh, in June through Southern Powerlifting Federation uh, it's the Nationals uh, I think it's the 12th or 13th I think it's the third week in June, second week in June, something like that, and then the third or fourth week of June, we have the the uh, we have the Grit House Classic, I believe it is, in Cleveland, Tennessee, and uh, um, I'm 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 just gonna keep it real and honest with you. Um, I had I had I hadn't worked out for a couple of weeks and if you've seen my last video my last two videos uh i go into you know the reason why i got um uh, those are great videos matter of fact um you need to check them out you'll see that um uh what transpired but yeah with the with it coming up i kind of changed my training up my training right now um i typically do like a um kind of like a, um, a, a training basically uh, I build upon every I was doing every time I I was able to lift uh, a weight for three sets of five reps I would go up but right now I'm kind of doing doing uh, there's probably a technical term for it but I'm calling it for myself because I've been I've been training for for quite a few years I'm, I'm doing called adaptive training because right now I got a powerlifting meet coming up I had a uh, right in a month where I wasn't able to train uh, uh, for the meet uh, I was just doing some for two weeks there right I was doing some just kind of body weight and weight vest stuff um, and some kind of lunges and body weight vest and body weight squats not really bend or any type of heavy loads but uh, now since I'm back in the gym and I'm able to really get some uh, good good thorough training in I'm not doing the three reps for five, three sets for five reps. What I'm doing right now is uh, if I'm able to uh, get up under a load and uh, I can bang out two reps, then I'm going up and I'm going up based on how I feel under that load. If I feel like I got more in me and I'm listening to my body and I know what I'm capable of, I know what I've been able to squat before. I know before I left to, before I left to, to before I, I we quit, we were we had to leave the gym due to the uh, the COVID-19. Uh, I was squatting over 400 pounds. I was squatting four 405. I think I was getting ready to go up to 415 for three sets of five reps. And uh, and then after that, I think I had a deload week, and then I had the meet. Uh, I was going to do uh, one week of of uh, three three sets for 415. And just really going to the meet, deload, let my body rest up, give myself one, one, about a week and a half of recovery, about almost two weeks of recovery, and then I went into the meet and just see what I was able to, to do. But now since I'm doing this, uh, this new, I'm doing some adaptive. I'm, I'm, I'm having strength day, then I'm, I'm having a speed day, and I'm really working on my accessories. I'm working on my, uh, some, some type of hip. Um, hip hinge movements, some uh, basically um, um, some flexors, uh, what they call them, um, your uh, hip flexor, hip flexors, as far as my outside hip flexors, working those, really trying to uh, just uh, be uh, more adaptive right now, just trying to uh, get my central nervous system uh, to be able to touch up under a heavy weight and I'm um, just trying this different thing right now um, and it seems like it's working for me I don't feel as burnt out and tired I really I'm really not trying to just put just tax completely tax my central nervous system like I was before by doing the three sets of or five reps I'm doing something different something even different than what my coach uh, my coach Mike was doing because right now uh, this is something totally different I got I got less than a month to get ready for a meet and uh, I had a month off, but for up to that month that I had off, I was training and preparing all the way back from 
December all the way through January, February, March, and then I think it was we got hit with COVID-19 at the first week of April. And now we're back in the gym. I think it was or the, the the last week of March, something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, it was about a it was about a full month out of the gym. So I'm trying to. I don't feel like I lost all my gains. And I when I when I came back, I said, well, I'm going to do something. I'm not going to try to rebuild uh, completely, start over again from scratch. And then I'm not going to just try to jump under a, a, a moderate load and. Uh, and go from there because I may burn myself out trying to build myself back up. So I'm gonna try something different. So my point behind this video is um, is to is based on your training. If you train long enough, you 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 coach and everything, you have to listen. You have to be in tune with your body. You have to listen to your body, and you have to listen. And you and you also at the same time, you have to push yourself. You have to know. You have to have willpower, and you have to have a go get it mentality. Uh, nobody's gonna go in the gym and do the work for you. You have to go in there and get it. So, um, so you have to have these things in in you. And if you're not willing to to go get it, you don't have a, an, an adaptive attitude. You're not in tune with your body. Uh, you listen to your coach, and yeah, and you haven't been training long enough to really understand what you're capable of. Then, yeah, you you might um, might not want to try this. But adapt. You know, if you listen to any person who's been lifting long enough. Uh, they listen to other people, and they listen to their, and most importantly, they just don't listen to other people. They listen to their body because their body is the greatest, uh, um, um, far as uh, storyteller, or basically the bur the greatest um, 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 spreadsheet or whatever you want to call it, greatest uh, diagnostic, I guess you could say, uh, as far as knowing, knowing what you're capable of. Because if your body goes in there and you can't do something and you get up under weight and you can't do it then maybe you can't do it or you're too exhausted or uh, maybe there's a, uh, a muscle group or something that you need to train in order to be able to lift that load or be able to move that weight or to be able to uh, do that particular uh, movement so um, adapt adapt um, and uh, not necessarily just just go out there and wing it, but um, with good form, proper technique, and it takes years of training. And I'm not saying I'm the wizard of uh, wizard of, of powerlifting. I'm still learning. I'm still I'm still learning, and I'm still adapting. But uh, in a situation like this, uh, where you had some adverse situation, you weren't able to train for a two or three weeks. Say you had a family member that or you had a baby to get sick or you weren't able to and you are, you're a couple weeks out from a meet and you've trained hard and you continuously train for two, for three months, say you trained for eight weeks or 12 weeks and for some reason two weeks something came about, maybe you had a flu or maybe whatever, then take your training and don't throw it away and don't necessarily try to start back where you at, you may be able to but for a brief moment there, try to adapt and try to let your body build itself up and not and try to give yourself the opportunity to build yourself to a proper load, be able to move a proper uh, a certain load in a, in a way that you weren't necessarily normally doing. You, if you're doing a three for five or if you were building up and you were doing a progressive overload, you kept going up, up and away, maybe, maybe for a moment there you just want to see if you can move the weight with good form and then go up some or you maybe you just want to keep going up you know going up going up going up in the way but um, just be adaptable right now and uh, not just necessarily in training but be be willing to adapt in all aspects of life not not to not that you not that you have to throw morals or values or whatever but right now the world is the way it is uh, we're, we're, we're having to adapt to different situations as we go and let's try to uh, to do this and uh, learn and be able to move weight. This is the Yip Channel. This is Brent. If you like this video, if you like what I'm saying, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye.